The patent for the magnet motor described above originates from Germany and is attributed to inventor Karl Jungertz from the city of Bingen. The official name of the motor is magnetic motor with permanent magnets consisting of drive and idler housing and phase shifted inner cylinder. The patent application was submitted back in 2005. Let's see what inventor said how this motor should operate. The engine consists of an outer engine block, drawing A, with a drive idler housing and a rotating inner cylinder, drawing B. The rotating inner cylinder is firmly connected to a movable drive axle, drawing C. These components, A, B and C, are made of a non-magnetizable material. The permanent magnets are mounted in the engine block, drawing A, in such a way that they repel the permanent magnets in the inner cylinder, drawing B. This causes the inner cylinder, drawing B, to rotate. The following permanent magnet of the engine block then repels the incoming permanent magnet of the inner cylinder in the running direction, etc. By moving the drive axle with the inner cylinder in the direction of the idling housing, the speed of the engine can be regulated up to standstill. Several engine blocks are built in rows next to each other and the inner cylinders are each phase shifted with respect to their adjacent inner cylinders. This ensures that the permanent magnets in one of the engine blocks are always optimally positioned against one another in relation to that of an inner cylinder. This ensures a constant force on the drive axle. This construction also makes it possible to produce magnetic motors that are only small in size. As a result, their scope of application is almost unlimited. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one.